In this video, I'm gonna be showing you how to use a financial calculator, right? This tool is very powerful. I know when I got started and I was trying to figure out interest rates, it's very funny because this is something that's not taught in school and a lot of us go through you know, so many years in business and never able to fully understand how a financial calculator works, right? So in this video, I'm gonna be breaking down. I know I've gotten a lot of requests on show me how to use the financial calculator and the financial calculator that I like to use is called 10B. It's, uh, I believe, $4.99 on, if you're on the, uh, uh, if you have Apple phone, and I believe it may be free on the Google Play Store. So this is what it looks like. Um, I'm gonna break it down and show you guys uh, what you're gonna input. So let's say that you were wanting to uh, find out uh, somebody's interest rate or how much they owe just by knowing uh, three of the four variables. So if you know three out of the four variables, you're able to solve for the fourth one. And let me give you an example. Let's say that somebody has a $100,000 loan, right? And let's say that they were um, they were paying a 9.5% interest and it was a 30-year loan, right? They got a mortgage for a traditional 30-year mortgage. So what you're gonna do is on the far left on end, that's the amount of payment. So you're always gonna put payment. So if it's 30 years, it's 30 times 12, which is 360. So you're gonna put 360 on N, and on the one right next to it, it's the interest, right? How much interest are they uh, paying? And we're gonna uh, put 9.5% because that's the interest rate, right? So um, the next one is the, uh, it stands for present value, right? So which is the loan amount. So let's say that they had a loan amount of $100,000, right? So if somebody gets a loan for $100,000, the interest rate is 9.5%, and they're doing it on the 30-year note, all you're gonna do is press payment, the PMT, and it's gonna give you the exact payment that that person's gonna be paying on a monthly basis. Now, keep in mind, this is for principal and interest. So if you click on it, boom, $840.85, right? So if you want to figure out, hey, what would somebody's payment be if they're paying $1,000 a month, right? And the one thing that you have to uh, remind yourself is whenever you're using payment, only on the payment section, you're going to um, put negative in front of the number. So you always gonna put negative. If you don't put negative, it's gonna throw out an error. So just make sure uh, to always put negative. So let's say that you wanna calculate and somebody says, hey, I'd like for my payment to be $1,000 a month, 9.5% um, at a 30 year note, um, what is the uh, loan amount, right? So you can see that the loan amount, I clicked on present value is $118,926. Now, uh, something else that you can do on this calculator is it can give you the, the amortization schedule, right? So if you wanna find out what each payment um, is being made, because you guys know that whenever you're doing a 30 year term, um, you're paying a lot of interest for the first few years and very little goes to interest. You can actually click on the top right box where you see the three bars on the right and you go to amortization and you can see a graph and you can see Payment number one of $1,000, $941.50 is interest, $58.50 is <clears throat> to a principal, right? And on the right, it'll give you the balance. So if you can see, if you slide to the right, you can see, for example, after, um, let's see, after 117 payments, you can see on the bottom right here that the balance is still owed $107,725. And that person has paid in interest uh, $10,000 so far in interest, right? So if you go all the way at the end, this just gives you an idea, right? In a perfect world, let's say that somebody got a 30-year mortgage at 9.5% and their payment's $1,000 and they paid it on time every single month until the house is paid off. That original loan of $118,000 ends up being um, $360,000. So that's the power of, you know, uh, making your money work for you. And that's the power of notes. So um, one thing that I'm going to be doing is I'm going to show you, start sharing, sharing videos and giving you guys an example. If you're out there flipping properties that sometimes it's hard to de delay that instant gratification of maybe making 30,000, 40,000, $50,000 on a flip when you can make hundreds of thousands of dollars if you are open to owner financing, because you can see um, sometimes let's just say on a property, let's just say that you're selling it for $250,000, right? Let's say that you sold it for $250,000 and you were able to do this with all your own cash. Just to keep the example easy, you don't have any loans. You were able to do it for cash, right? And let's say that you bought the property cash, 
you renovated your cash and let's say on that particular property after closing costs commissions and fees you're able to make fifty thousand dollars right you're like hey i made fifty thousand dollars and let's say it took you a year that's great right but what if you decided instead of just flipping it you decided to own or finance it and let's say that somebody was able to give you fifty thousand dollars as a down payment right so if you sold the house for two hundred and fifty thousand dollars they gave you fifty thousand of the down payment the remaining balance is what two hundred thousand dollars so let's do the nap the the math on that let's say that let's see here let's put two hundred thousand dollars on the calculator and that's going to be present value that's what the loan amount is going to be right and with interest rates being high right now um you're more than um comfortable on a penalty box buyer paying 10 percent, right because no other bank is going to finance them right and even some of our investor loans are right now in the eight, high eight almost nine percent rate so ten percent for a ho homeowner right now is something that is very common in this market so let's say that we put ten percent for the i slash yr so that's the interest rate and let's say that it's a 30 year uh, mortgage right we'll keep it at 360 months now the payment ends up being what $1,755.14 for the principal and interest. Now let's do the math. If you decided that instead of you going out there and just flipping the property, you wanted to sell it on terms and sell or finance it, look at the math. Let's say that they obviously kept the property and most people after about five to 10 years, they end up selling the property, refinance it. So let's say that they were making payments for 10 years and then after 10 years, they decided to pay off the property. So even after 10 years, which is 120 months, let's go to 120 months. Well, 119 months, right? After 119 months, so after 10 years, they still owe $182,000 plus they have paid, let's see here, in interest, $187,000. So do the math, $187,000 plus a remaining balance of $182,000. So over $300,000 from the same property that you only generated $50,000 by uh, flipping it. So that's the power of you know compounding. That's the power of being able to uh, make money over time. And I hope that um, quick tutorial kind of helps you guys um, start calculating those payments. If somebody you know starts telling you like, Hey, I'm not exactly sure what my balance is. All I know is that my payments 1755. And let's say that, um, they tell you that their interest rates, you know, 6%, you can put six and it'll tell you, you know, the balance $292,000. So just remember all you need is three out of the four and it'll solve, solve for the fourth um, variable. So again, this application is free for some people and it's only 4.99 and it's going to allow you to calculate payments interest very easily within uh, seconds if you've got a lot of uh, value if you're um, learning make sure you like subscribe and share this video with somebody that may need the same information because i am going to be uploading a lot of different uh, videos uh, based on your guys's recommendations and i've been getting a lot of uh, emails and messages and also comments on future videos so I am going to be showing you guys sometimes a little bit more in depth on how to calculate certain uh, payments. So I hope you guys have uh, enjoyed this video. Until then, we'll see you guys on the next video.